So we're doing this backwards now, but I, I walk into your office, husband and I, we wanted to get an estate plan. What does your consult look like? What do you, what do you tell us? What do you, what do you want to know? What, look like? uh, what, what, what does your initial consultation look like? What do you, uh, what do you, what do you want to know right away? Or what's, what do you tell us? Like, right. you- well, if it's for an estate plan, cause I also do things like, uh, I also do contracts. I also do prenups and postnups and NDAs and uh, lots of business session planning, LLCs, things like that. So with a, with a estate plan, it usually falls into a couple categories. Uh, And it depends what category it falls into, because there's one category that I've just had a a health um, emergency and I want to get this. I'm I'm scared. I want to get this figured out. And we've just we are kind of currently still in a a global pandemic. And if people have been touched by covid or they have just survived a covid scare or something like that, then that's usually a more sensitive uh, interaction. And to the same degree, uh, if people just lost a loved one. And they've either just gone through the probate process and they don't want to put their kids through it, or if they've just um, their their parent is aging and they want to do this for their parent. There's just a different feel of the the interaction or of the initial client consultation where you're softer and you're more sensitive and you just kind of listen to what they want to tell you before you uh, initiate kind of the so what's your social security number. <laughs> Well, you mentioned something. So you mentioned this a few times and I haven't really followed up on it. Like, so what do you mean by business succession? Like, is that part of the state planning or is that your, is that oh, part so, of the practice of oh, a business model for you? Uh, so estate planning at its core is writing um, and I'm good with words. So uh, business succession planning um, has links to uh, uh, estate planning because on in some degrees you're uh, you're putting LLCs and you're putting other business entities into the estate plan um, and you have to decide you know who gets that ownership interest. Oh. So then I also kind of transitioned into um, writing LLCs, developing LLCs, um, you know, keeping track of S corps um, and then you know, family planning or fam- family planning, family um, law was also in my background. So uh, prenups and postnups also kind of everything kind of fits together. And uh, where are you located? I did probably should have started with that, but I didn't ask. Oh, you. where am I? I'm, I live in the moment. Um, <laughs> I, I'm in tested. I'm in Orange County, but I have clients from, you know, Riverside and San Bernardino, LA, all the way to San Diego. All of our process can be done online digitally, uh, except for the notarization. If you want us to notarize, that has to be done face-to-face. And I do travel to clients all the time, especially my uh, clients in an older demographic uh, for a small fee. Uh, 